Hi, everyone. I hope you have had a good week. Um, it is Friday, March the 12th, um, and wanted to just hop on here to, um, just for a second, I really just have just a second before I have to be on a, another call, but um, to mark the one year anniversary of the shutdown. Um, the, about a year ago this week, um, you know, we all have our memories. Uh, this was the last time I went out and did X, Y, Z before I didn't realize I could, I wouldn't be able to do that again for however long, whether that's a year or eight months or eight weeks or, you know, whatever. Um, for us, it was uh, my brother's birthday last year. We went to Rosa's. Um, and that was our last time at a restaurant for eight weeks. It was the last time I was able to see my family um, in close quarters for a very long, long time. Um, and um, and so I, I don't know about you, my body is feeling that this week. My heart and my mind are, are very aware of it, that it's been a year um, and that this is just a, a solemn and monumental time. Um, in addition to that, I got my first vaccine yesterday. So on the actual federal anniversary, um, I got my first vaccine and I know there are so many who are still just, just, I mean, wanting this, um, this, their own vaccine, wanting to get on the list and just waiting and waiting. And I, com I mean, I just completely understand that. And there's some that are nervous about it. And there's, you know, there's just a wide range of experiences happening, but um, I just wanted to hop on here. I wanted to mark the day, mark the week, mark the time with you. Um, and then just read a couple of verses from Psalm 13. Um, I was going to lead us in a time of Lexio Divina, which is um, a more contemplative reading. So you read through once, and I would encourage you still to do this, but you read through the text once, listening for if any word or phrase stands out to you explicitly. Read again listening for confirmation of that or, you know, any, um, give yourself some time after the second reading to kind of write out what it is that God might be saying to you through that word or phrase. Um, you read it a third time and you, um, you pray through that text. You pray through this part that God seemed to have laid on your heart and then you read it a fourth time and you give yourself time right after that fourth time to sort of rest, to think through it, to journal, um, to continue praying, whatever you, whatever you would. So um, I'm just going to read the couple of verses. It's from Psalm 13, and I would encourage you to do this, um, Lexio, whenever you have time just to, um, to process lament with the Lord without circling back around to, but it's okay, and optimism, and we're getting better, and all of those things, you know, may be true, but this is it's just been a lot and I think lament needs to have its place. So, um, okay, so Psalm 13, just um, reading through, um, it's just uh, one through six. So, how long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul? and have sorrow in my heart all day long. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep the sleep of death and my enemy will say I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trust in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So I would, um, I would encourage you to kind of lean into that text or another, any other psalm of lament. Um, what stuck out to me specifically there was how, how long must I bear pain in my soul and sorrow in my heart all day long? Um, and the phrase, I am shaken as well. Um, I, think it's, I think it's good and right to say that to God. It's good and right to admit it to ourselves. Um, and then I would just, I would just encourage you to journal through that, to lift, um, lift those feelings up, give them space to breathe, give them oxygen so that they, um, 
don't become <laughs> infected in our soul and in our spirits and um and then and then pray them pray to the lord so um i i just wanted to mark this solemn occasion let me pray and i'll hop off here god in the anniversary the one year anniversary of this pandemic that has rocked our world and that has robbed so many families of lives and um, income and relationships and so many people of um, of relationship and of touch and of connection. God, would you rebuild? Would you restore? Would you give back? Would you heal? And would you eradicate this pandemic in Jesus' name? Amen.